Okay, what's up guys? It's Pip here. I don't even want to talk about it. I, I, I'm mad that I have to make this video. This game, now, I mean, it ha it, it's not, you're not going to win every game. I understand that. I, I understand. You're not going to win every game. You know, have your, you'll, have your you'll have your ups, you'll have your downs. I understand that. But oh my god, the struggle was real for this game. I'm telling you straight forward. Yeah, the struggle was real. I we didn't produce power plays did not produce nothing went well for the Colorado Avalanche today. It was just pain. Like, oh my god. Just I don't even know what to say. Let's just let's just go down here quickly. Miles Wood, one shot. One shot on net. Devontae's no shots. Thomas Tatar, no shots. Miko Rantan still had five shots on net. Frederick Olsen, one shot. Logan O'Connor, two shots. Valerie Nichushkin, one. Josh, one. Kale, still no shots on net in the last, like, four games, it feels like. Neither can had four. Terry Luckin had none. Ryan Johansson did pop off with six. But, like... This game was a mess. Now, I can't tell you if it was Georgiev's fault or if it was the team's fault. Because all around, the team struggled. Like, I feel bad for Georgiev. I feel like didn't help whatsoever. No defense was played. Offense was nowhere to be seen. Power plays were not producing. Penalty kills were just dying out. Weren't happening. Weren't helping. Everything went wrong in this game. Now, our first period, we always usually go down by one goal. Every time, always go down by one goal. And, you know, I was assuming, you know, maybe Bednar will go in there and give him some lip. Maybe that will tell him, hey, buddies, you, you guys need a... I don't know. I feel like Bednar did not... He tried to tell him, he tried to motivate him, and that motivation did not push through because, oh my god, it was a struggle fest this whole game. Offense was not producing. We had it in our zone half the time. I feel bad for Bednar. Like, or Bednar, Georgiev. He was getting onslaughted with shots, and we had no defense to help him. It was... Ugh. It was an ugly game to say that the least. It was oh, atrocious. It was atrocious. Now, the next thing I want the next topic I want to talk about was I'll pop up the video here. But Kale McCarr getting that hit, who was it? Who who hit Kale McCarr? I don't even remember who hit him, but I'll look at it after this. It what how is that not a boarding? How is that not anything? Not a penalty, not boarding, not not tripping, not cross check from behind, not anything. How is that not like purpose of injury? How is that nothing? Like NHL, tell this ref he is blind for not calling that. Like that is an easy call. I would call a boarding, like a boarding or I don't know, a cross check from behind or something. Cause what is that? How is that not a penalty? How that's an injury right there for Kale McCarr. If he was fully injured and he was taken out of the ice for and he was off for like a whole week or a couple games. Like, that's dumb. Like and the crazy thing is, the crazy thing is, is if NHL see this as, you know, a suspension or, like, a fine, the fine's only going to be, like, $5,000. Oh, no. That's that's going to save, you know, a possible injury to an NHL all-star, multiple award winner, an injury to him, or, you know, a 5000 slap on the wrist. Yeah, whatever. I Like, it's not even going to be a suspension. There's no way he gets suspended for this. There's no way. Like, if it's a suspension, even it would be a one game. Oh, no. Oh, no. Suspended for one game. Like, we're back to that one playoff where Kale McCarr got suspended for one game for that hit in Seattle. Like, I... <laughs> I don't I have, I have no explanation for this. Like the NHL are 
either being cheap about their suspensions and fines, or they just don't care. They don't care about if an all star gets injured, and they're just gonna play. They're just gonna fine the other person five thousand dollars for this. Five thousand dollars out of you know could be you know on a million dollar contract. Yeah, whatever. Five thousand dollars is probably a monthly like it's like a rent paycheck for for the people nowadays. Like normal people that have a, you know a nine to five job, that's like a like a month paycheck right there. Not even probably like two months, three months paycheck, and that and that's five thousand dollars to a player that's playing hockey. That's just it's dumb. That's all I got to say. It's dumb. Five thousand dollars is nothing to these NHL players. It's nothing. Not even a penny to most of these guys. So, I mean, if the NHL really want to approve things and like you know, you know, actually help out the league with not having this many injuries and stuff like that, you need to like, you know, give a bigger slap on the wrist to these players that are injuring these players out here. Like that's a huge injury that could possibly happen. That could end his career, for God's sake. And the, all you would get is slap on a wrist or a suspension. Whatever. I I I I. I Oh, I hate to rant, but Jesus, like, you could have, you know, I would say Connor McDavid, a hit against, a hit, get, a hit gets, go goes against him on his back, he goes flying to the boards, his knee pops out, dislocated knee, he's out for the rest of the year, and all his player's gonna get is a $5,000 fine, $5, fine, or a one, you know, one game suspension, that's all he's gonna get, I, I, it, that's pretty much always. There's no way he gets anything else. Like that's the only issue. That's an all star. Their number one player on on the Oilers, and there goes the season right there. Like that's just dumb. I, I'm I'm sorry, Rant. We'll move on. Cause Jesus, that's just. I don't know. Like I said, I'll pop up the video of that hit. See, tell me down in the um comments down below what you guys think of the hit because, in my mind, that is. Uh, I don't know, man. That is just the dumbest hit ever. That's I, I, I just have no sympathy for that. Like, that's just dumb. Like, for me, that I played hockey growing up, if I got hit in the back like that, some player's going to have to jump that kid because that is just horrible. That's an ending career hit right there. And it, they, the ref just looks at him like, oh, well, whoopsie. Like, whatever. Let's look at our future games here again. Look at this. 0-4 oh, and 0-4. Four and oh, four. <laughs> oh my god. Bettinar, what is going on? What is going on? We've lost two games in a row. Down by four goals. We go into the Blues. Hopefully, we're at home. Hopefully, we win this game. That would be lovely, you know. Maybe, maybe, you know, try to win a game here. Hopefully, when we go to, go to Vegas... To play Vegas, and then we go back home, come back home to Colorado to play the Devils, and Seattle, and the Blues again, and then Seattle again. So, I mean, betting on here. We have a couple games here. We have four games at home coming up, and one game away, and then another game away. But we got to do something here, okay? Betting on, just tell them. Be a coach here. We need to win a game. Now, we cannot, we cannot lose a game after... After these two games here being down by four goals, we cannot go into the Blues being sad going down by four goals. We need to come out swinging against the Blues in in Colorado. We need they need to come out swinging. I swear to God, if they don't, oh my God, I'm gonna lose a temper in the next video. I swear. Oh boys, a team like this cannot go down four O's in two games. That's just ugh, it's crazy. I don't know what to say. If you guys enjoyed this video, tell me down in the comments down below. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure that notification bell is always on. Um, tell me down below, <laughs> what is your NHL team doing right now? Are they struggling or are they just going ham? Because, oh, hey, my team's giving me headaches. That's what my team's doing. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.